Hello friends and family. Welcome to the September 1st edition of our boring meditation stuff. It's a new month and I wanted to talk about our homes. <laughs> I'm sure we're all very familiar with our homes at this point, um, but I wanted to talk about them in terms of the meditation practice, which is probably not how um, many of us often think of them. It is actually suggested in historical literature to look for a wholesome place, uh, a country. And I mean, the word country there has more to do with like the district, the countryside, than necessarily the nation state in which one resides, um, though visas and things like that are a real issue. But if you have been practicing meditation and you have been noticing that it is difficult because of your environment, um, the smoke coming in through the window because you live in a polluted city or the noise from the streets below or any other interruption, um, some other complication which might be getting in the way of your meditation practice. While meditating, try not to let these things bother you. They're there. <laughs> you're not going to get away from them while you're meditating. But when you sit down for breakfast, when you sit down for your other meals, when you sit down to talk with your family members, give your home serious consideration. Um, I've been giving this a lot of consideration over the past couple of years, and I've been really thinking about um, the idea of the village, specifically uh, terminology I'm trying to exploit um, called the hacker village, which is about a space of um, people who want to build and create together, but um, that's not so important. It's more important, I think, that we focus on this idea of um, the abstract village, the space where we are comfortable, where we feel safe, perhaps even in a pandemic, um, and that it is easy for us to engage in the practices that we know to be wholesome and healthy. So it's easier to eat healthy food. It's easier to go for a run. It's easier to go for a bicycle ride. It's easier to go for a swim. <laughs> It's easier to go to the library uh, and it's easier to meditate. Um, these sorts of things will really start to weigh on your mind um, as you begin meditating more. That is this environment really the environment I want to spend my life in? And I would encourage you to be honest with yourself and look and see if the people around you and the space around you um, are really conducive to a healthy lifestyle for you. And if they're not, I mean, obviously you don't need to get up and change it all right away, <laughs> but to consider um, the possible changes that you might be able to make. All right, everyone. I hope you're taking good care of yourselves wherever you happen to be, big city, small town. Um, that you're taking care of everyone around you in that big city or small town. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.